Hey guys, Garney here. How you doing today? Hopefully all is well. You know what? Here it is, week after Thanksgiving, or a little bit past uh, a week of th past Thanksgiving, and uh, I wanted to share with you what's going on with my keto and intermittent fasting lifestyle. I, I really should say it's intermittent fasting first, then keto, uh, because that really is intermittent fasting is what jump started my weight loss. Now, to date, I have lost 70 pounds uh, with that lifestyle: intermittent fasting first, then keto. Uh, keto is really more from a dietary standpoint. Intermittent fasting is for insulin production control. That's the main reason, and it's really helped me out. In fact, I really appreciate my physician looking at me and saying my A1Cs have dropped, which is he no longer considers me a type 2 diabetic, which, yay, you know, pretty amazing. And, and in fact, later on this month, I'm going to go for another blood test to see how things go. My my bad cholesterols went down and my good cholesterols, believe it or not, went up. So my ratios looked really, really good. So I've my dosage of cholesterol medicines have dropped or basically were cut in half, which I'm pretty excited about. Uh, another thing that really is kicked off for me is that I got to a point where I stabilized. Now I dropped down, you know, I dropped to 70 pounds and I'm hovering between 215 and 220. That's right, 215 and 220. A pounds, right? And uh, it really is, you know, I'm bouncing between those two areas. My lowest weight ever in quite for the longest time. I cannot remember when I last weighed 215 pounds. But between those five pounds, I've been bouncing back and forth. Well, you know, I hit that for a long time. I mean, most of this year, most of this year has been at that 215, 220 mark. And Mostly I will say, well, that's frustrating. Well, yeah, you're right. I wasn't exercising and I wasn't, you know, tweaking what I was doing. I really wasn't ratcheting down even further. I was comfortable where I was. So I have found the magic formula for keeping me at the weight, the ideal weight that I wanted to be at. So, uh, so now my next goal for 2019 really is to lose a lot more weight. Really, I really want to get down to the 200 and then the 180 if I can. Now, the key thing is... 200 will be a wonderful so 20 pounds 20 more pounds that's all i have to worry about 20 more pounds so how am i going to do this well well before i started down that journey i decided to break my keto and intermittent fasting protocol and right before thanksgiving and i went back to my old way eating habits i mean gosh it's been almost 18 months 19 months when i went into this diet and so getting back into my old habits uh, to whatever I ate, whatever I felt like it, when I was on the road or traveling or anything else, I would just go back to my old eating habits, and I wanted to see what would happen to my body when I did that. Um, and it wasn't good. What actually happened for uh, the Tuesday before Thanksgiving up to this last Sunday, it was the traditional American diet, and I want to say that I gained 15 pounds. Yeah. I mean, nine days of getting off my intermittent fast, fasting and keto, I gained 15 pounds, which is blows my mind. It, it just, all those carbs I'm just sucking in. I mean, it just, just tells me that the traditional American diet where you're just stuffing your face with carbs and it doesn't matter, and it seems like it's healthy. Yes, I was still eating salads. I was still trying to, I was still conscious of what I was eating, but I went back to some of my old favorites, my old favorites, right? Uh, Thanksgiving stuffing and pies and oh yeah ice cream uh, went to a mission trip in Mexico at a border city to help out some of the refugees and, and things like that down there uh, which I'll have another video about later but helping those guys out and and being able to go and eat authentic Mexican food where you know you got corn tortillas and then you got sofapillas and you know empanadas and tacos and it's just oh my goodness the food is so good uh, the Mexican food was so good, you know, traditional Mexican food, not Tex-Mex, traditional Mexican food, and it was such a wonderful uh, experience to have that kind of food, and so I said to myself, let's have some fun. Oh, by the way, my favorite candy was Snickers. And yes, I did eat a few Snicker bars. <laughs> I came back and on uh, Sunday night, and I decided that, you know what, I'm going to go for a long-term fast. Now, what do I mean by long-term fast? Long-term fast for me is no water, I'm sorry, take that no foods, just water, tea, and coffee. That's right, water, tea, and coffee, that's it. Now, some of you guys already know that I have done 
multiple day for extended fast. You know, one, two, three, four days. My longest has been six days. Um, my goal today, this week, 10 days. That's right. 10 days just on water, tea, and coffee. Now, you guys are going to be saying, well, you got to be crazy, Garney. That's, that's, that's unbelievable. Well, it actually does work. Uh, really, it's the... It's a mental game, and that's all I would say. It is truly a mental game. Now, I've I've actually, instead of just making a dietary and lifestyle um, for fasting, I'm also going to turn this to more of a spiritual thing also, because you know, all great religions, all great, uh, well, all great religions have some type of fasting associated with it. And in the Bible, it talks about you know fasting, which I am going to be studying about during this period. But I just wanted to share with you that I'm going to go for a 10-day extended fast in this area. Now, let me throw something else at you. I did a 24-hour complete fast, which meant no food, no water for 24 hours. Now, you're saying to yourself, whoa, 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 Gardner, you went without water for 24 hours? Yes. So, it's called dry fasting, and it's a great way to kick off a fast. Uh, let me explain why. Uh, now, I don't recommend it to anyone. Let me just put a disclaimer there. I am not recommending anyone um, to do any type of, to do my keto, to do my fasting, to do dry fasting without checking with, that, with your physician, nutritionist, or dietitian, or anything else like that. I do not recommend that for anyone. But I've done a lot of research. I've done a lot of studies behind this. I've talked to, talked to professionals around this, and I decided to do a 24. In fact, I've already done a 24-hour water fast. Um, without water fast and um, I don't feel any different now you usually think oh I'm gonna have a headache or anything no see what happens is that your body if you got a lot of fat like I do <laughs> your body stores water in fat yeah that's why the camels can go across the desert right <laughs> so your body naturally extracts the water in your fat now, when you do that, it actually helps release some of those toxins that stored in your fat. Yes, your fat does store toxins. So what it's doing for me is replacing the water that was stored with the toxins in my fat and extracting that out. That's a great way for me to get started, and I'm going to be spending the next uh, nine days. Now I'm already on day one, finish day one. Uh, next nine days, finishing off my extended fast. Now I'm going to do another 24-hour water fast next week on a, on a Monday, where no water. And, uh, and there are people out there, if you go out there and you search on dry fasting on Google and stuff like that, uh, you'll find people who actually do uh, dry fast once a week and, and things. And they, t they explain, there is actually physicians out there who do this on a weekly basis and they explain why much better than I can. Uh, but there's a huge, lot, of, lot of benefits uh, from that. But the fasting aspects of it is going to be spiritual based and it's going to be for lifestyle based and going from there. Now. You're saying to yourself, Garney, I don't know if I can go through a fast for one day, or two days, or three days, or much anything beyond that. But let me tell you, you already fast. You, you, you Hear me out. You already fast. You go to sleep at night, right? Yeah, you sleep at night, and you're already fasting. You're not eating during that time period. That's really more like an intermittent fasting type thing, but your mindset's already there. Uh, have you ever skipped breakfast? Yeah, I know many of you have. Uh, in fact, some of you professionals, I know you've skipped lunch. So imagine skipping lunch and breakfast. Oh, when well, breakfast and lunch. That means if you count the hours that you've been asleep back to your last dinner, uh, you've fasted for quite a few hours. See, there's a hormone that's released that causes hunger. Um, and over time, over the amount of days, after day three, that hormone is produced less and less on an extended fast. Usually the first, second, and third days are the toughest when you start a fast, but it's really a mental game because that hormone's excreted and taken out when you're hungry at habits. It's like Pavlo's dog, it's, it's out of habit. Your body is programmed to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And, then, and it just keeps putting out those hormones to say, hey, you gotta eat, you gotta eat, you gotta eat. That's, uh, in fact, if you stop eating, and you let it and you continue on day four day five and so on you start losing hunger and in fact my last six day fast or actually my last four day fast and then my six day fast i didn't have hunger after the third day now you're saying well garney why did you break well i, I wasn't keeping up with my uh, my vitamins and minerals which i'm changing this time i am going to be focused on making sure that i have all my vitamins and minerals 
for this time period uh, so I can keep myself balanced. Now, is it going to be a challenge? You doggone right it's a challenge because you got to train up for it. No one can go, I don't think anyone can go cold turkey on this, right? So I've been doing lots of smaller fasts and uh, one, two, three, four day fasts to get to this point now to where I'm mentally ready to do a 10 day. Anyway, guys, thought I'd just share that with you. Uh, it's not a keto video. It's really focused on, hey, I am fasting. I'm doing something new, and I'm and I'm not going to journal this every day. I'm just going to, uh, I'll come back maybe next the end of this week and let you know how that goes, and and then I'll talk about what I did over the weekend and things like how do I feel, and if I do break, I'll let you know how I felt, why I felt, and 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 all that good stuff. It, it, if is it a challenge? Absolutely, it's a challenge. But it's something what something I'm going to do. I'm going to make this a spiritual journey uh, for myself and then help me with my body uh, to get me to where I want to be. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this. It, hopefully it was a little bit informative for you. Uh, let me know what you think. We'll talk to you real soon. And oh, by the way, if you like what I'm doing, hit that like uh, button down below. And please, I'm always looking for new friends to join me on this journey. I do quite a few things all over the place, a hodgepodge, and I'm trying to get, back my, get myself back on the YouTube and start rock and rolling from there. Anyway, guys, have a great one. We'll talk to you later. Peace.